Saturated with the collective grief and tragedy of the violence that has rocked the community, residents gathered together on Wednesday night at the Orange Walk Central Park. They held candles as symbols of light to ward off the darkness caused by the senseless murders of Ramon Cervantes Sr. and Sonia Maribel Abak. For these residents, there is some measure of comfort in solidarity, strength in unity, and solace in prayer. We feel that as a community we must unite in these trying times that we are all facing and this is one way how we show our unity, our solidarity for what all of us in our commun community are being hurted by what is happening to us all and also to, respect, to pay respect to the families that are mourning for their loved ones in our community. The purpose of that vigil one is for us to come together as a community, uh, bring religious leaders uh, in our community to, to pray for our country to pray for our tongue, uh, to pray for those victims that have, that have uh, fell, those people that have fell victim to this heinous crime, to pray for the families, uh, at the same time to pray for those who also perpetrated the crime. I think um, we as a community, a close-knit community, uh, should have never been touched by this type of crime. Uh, and I, we will never wish this on anybody. I mean, we never wish part, any part of this world. It was also a time to embrace the families whose loved ones were so cruelly taken away. A time to let them know that the community is standing with them and will be there for them during this dark time. And it is a wake-up call, a call to action for a community which never saw the violence coming. One of the things that we will do as a council through our neighborhood meetings, we would want to encourage our residents to form neighborhood watch groups. It is very important that we watch one another and support each other and be other, the, our brother's keepers. Um, it is very important as well um, that we work closely with the police department. And so I, I, I have uh, two councillors who are part of a committee. We will ask them to engage much more with the police department. And as the mayor, of course, I will work uh, along with the police, um, the head of command, uh, to ensure that Communication is there. Um, the council may not have all the resources, but when you work together as a community, when everybody come together, and, and, and I ask the residents to, to also be participative uh, with the police in terms of trying to solve crimes, because only, this is the only way that we will be able to curb these crimes here in our municipality. Wednesday night's vigil will not bring back Ramon Cervantes Sr. and Sonia Maribel Abak, but it was necessary and critical for the families of those lost and for a community which is tight-knit and now resolve to stand together against the darkness. Mike Rodon for News 5.